Well, you guys, in this video, we're going to be looking at how we can fix access denied for folders and files. You may get an error message popping up. This will work on Windows 10, 8 and Windows 7. So when you click on the folder, you may get an error message popping up like so, or another particular type of error message. We're going to take ownership of this file and folder by right clicking and going to properties. Now, the first thing you want to check under the general tab here is go to the advanced tab at the bottom and check to make sure that the folder or the data inside has not been encrypted. Now, if it has, you need to unencrypt it. At the bottom, you'll see encrypt contents to secure data. That needs to be unticked and you need to decrypt all the content to get access to it, okay? Now, once you've done that, you can uh, get access to the data. If that hasn't worked and it isn't encrypted, then I'll show you what to do. Go to the security tab up the top. And uh, what you want to do here is come down to the bottom where it says advance for special permissions. And uh, inside here, you'll see another box popping up saying advanced uh, security settings. What we need to do here is click on the change button at the top. You can see the name for the folder and uh, what we want to do, and you can see the owner is new user. Uh, this will be your username up here. But what you need to do is click on uh, the change uh, icon at the top and we can change the permissions of this folder. So let's go ahead and uh, click on that. And now we can see we've got the select user and uh, group. So what you want to do is type in here the actual username. So I'm going to put in here new user and check names. You can see it's selected that name. So all I need to do here now is click on OK. Once we've clicked on the OK button, you'll see up the top here, it'll say replace owner on subcontainers and objects. And it is for that folder that we're trying to gain access to. So apply this, you'll get a pop-up box saying Windows Security, and uh, you've just taken ownership of this object. So just click OK here and we've now got ownership of that folder so we should be able to gain access uh, to that folder by clicking on it like so there we go now another thing uh, you can do is check the permissions of that folder or file uh, so get permissions for the file or folder uh, so by right clicking on it and going to properties inside here what we want to do is we want to go up to the security tab and what we want to do is check the permissions for that folder or file. So what you need to do is select the user that is uh, you're logged into. In this case, it's called new user. Then all we need to do is click on the edit button. And uh, you should see the permissions allow and deny there. They're all grayed out. But if you want to change these, you can hit the uh, edit button and to change the permissions to add more permissions in for that particular person for the system or for the user or the groups or the administrator you can see here they're all allowed anyway because i've just allowed them but basically you can uh, put your ticks in uh, to whatever you like there so that's how you can change the permissions for that particular folder or file that you're trying to access so let me come out of here and i'll show you some other things that you can do next up what we want to do is uh, add the user account to the administrator group. Now, sometimes when you uh, have this account, it may not be added to the uh, administrator group. So what I'm going to do is right click on the start button and go computer management. This will open up the computer management window. Inside here, we're going to go over to where it says uh, local users and groups. Click on the users and on the right hand pane here, click on the user that you want to set. So right click and go properties on that user and uh, you want to see what it's a member of. So under the member of, you can see there is no information inside here. If you see no information, click on the add button here. And now what you need to do here is type in here administrators. And what you're going to do is add that new user or you to the administrators group. And that's what you're trying to do here. So just type out administrators and then click check names. You can see it's give us the path here now we can click OK and what that's done is added our new username uh, to the administrator group click OK and now we should have access to all the content on this computer 
because we've added the username to the administrator group. Now right click on that folder and go back to properties and then go into security here and inside here you can go to advanced and uh, what you want to do is uh, click on uh, the change there we go and what you want to do is type in here administrators so just put administrators in here and click on uh, check names and you can see now we've got administrators now click OK and we can uh, click on uh, replace owner of uh, the subcontainers and objects click apply and OK and there we go and now we should have access to that folder it's very simple and that's pretty much it now if you wanted to do this for a complete drive you can do the same thing for you know a whole uh, C drive or D drive or E drive so if you're having trouble with permissions on a D drive or anything like that you can do the same thing so what you do is right click on the drive itself that you're having issues with and go properties and go through the same scenario so basically you'd go into the security tab and uh, you can change and check permissions for that drive or you can also add in uh, users with permissions certain user groups and permissions for that drive it's pretty straightforward if you want to see that in another video let me know in the comments section below and i'll cover that in another video but it is pretty much the same sort of thing anyway that's about it for this video i hope this one helps you out my name is brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk bye for now now if you haven't subscribed yet hit the big red subscribe button on my youtube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.